When armed robbers meet armed resistance, often that's enough to send them on their way. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Teaches us some important lessons here about transitional spaces, about surviving the ambush, and about defending yourself effectively as well as knowing when the fight is over. As this one begins, we see the bad guy come in the door here and he pulls a gun out and if you go and look at the story, he says, unless you give me what's in the register, I'm going to start shooting. So this guy's just hanging out here, kind of waiting for the clerk to give him the contents of the till. Now he's in one of these little tiny convenience stores and he's kind of stuck back behind the register here and you can see how little it is, but he has a gun of his own. He's a legally licensed carrier in Pennsylvania and as soon as the bad guy sees a gun, off he runs and our good guy chases him out here. Don't know if he shot, but he definitely pointed a gun at him there. So let's think about some lessons out of this one. First one, of course, is transitional spaces. This guy's able to launch an attack quickly. But now as a clerk, I want to think about the space that you're in, you know? You could talk about compliance. I think that a, a, was a valid strategy here. But if you are going to defend yourself, you really got nowhere to go. You know, you can't back away and you're in, you know, kind of like in a barrel here. You can't really move. So why did that guy move off? Because what you can just barely see here through the, the police kind of fudged this out so you couldn't see the clerk. You can see that he's leaning out to point his gun at the guy. And you know, one of the things that I'm going to say that I'm going to encourage you here, if you choose to defend yourself, that's great, but learn the firearm skills, get both hands on the gun. The clerk here had one hand on the gun, wouldn't have been best for control of that firearm. You got to train regularly to get both hands on that gun to get accurate shots. Finally, I want to think about chasing this guy out of the store. Once he's gone, lock the door and call 911. Don't chase this guy out of the store, not just because of the legal issues, but because he might have counter ambushed again and shot back at you, so you put yourself back in danger. So you got to have that emotional fitness to know what you're going to do in that moment. Clerk did a pretty good job covering his ASP here, but I would encourage you again not to chase him out of the store for your own safety.